Hello everyone, welcome to EduTap and also welcome to Government Scheme Session. The scheme that we are covering today, it is Broadcasting Infrastructure and Network Development, in short BIND. So this scheme has been recently approved by Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs and that is why question can be asked in your examination. And we are going to discuss all the important points that were mentioned in news in your PIB in this particular lecture. But before starting the session, we have a small announcement for all the aspirants who are preparing for central regulatory bodies. We have come up with one-stop solution guide to all your queries that uh, that you must be having regarding the examination and also about the organization. You ask it, and we have all the answers in here. If you want to know about the organization, your role will what your role will be in the organization. What is the pattern of the examination? How many phases are there? What is the pattern of each phase? What is the syllabus? What are the um, uh, previous year trends, what is the minimum cutoff, everything has been mentioned in these e-guidebooks along with other queries, for example, eligibility criteria, is your qualification enough or not to sit in the examination, you name it and we have everything, so do not miss the opportunity to download these free of cost guidebooks from the link that is present in the description box below. So now let's start with today's session and the scheme it is about broadcasting infrastructure and network development. So we have to develop the infrastructure and the network development of what? Of broadcasting. What does it mean? Basically we are talking about public broadcasting. Okay, what is public broadcasting? In a general sense it can be said that a uh, broad public broadcasting are those platform from where you can reach out to a major uh, major or larger portion of public okay so these can be your social media this can be your internet this can be your television this can be your radio fm okay so everything these comes under public broadcasting and basically all the whatever schemes that are there or for some public awareness for jan andolan if government they want to connect with the audience they connect through these platforms only okay so for that we have one broadcaster we have one uh, india's public service broadcaster known as prasar bharti okay so it is Prasar Bharati and uh, we'll understand a short history of it. So see basically Prasar Bharati Act was launched in 1990 but it was later on it was finally implemented in 1997. So it is an autonomous body and why was it required but because see before uh, before this Prasar Bharati we had uh, we had two sources of communication with the public okay we uh, by we i means i mean government okay so the government they had two sources one was all india radio akashwani all india radio through which they used to connect to uh, the citizens of india so they want they could share any awareness program or some informative shows that used to run on all india radio okay akashwani and other platform was doordarshan so that was a television visual way of connecting with the audience okay so these two were there but these two platforms were directly under the government so you can understand that they, these two media platforms they were not all free to share the information that they the knowledge or maybe the awareness that they can share because they are still under uh, control of government so there can be some restrictions some direct indirect restrictions on them so that is why uh, it was decided that an autonomous body will be made and these two platform will come under that so that they have the freedom of speech okay they can say uh, what they want and that is why this Prasar Bharti was uh, later on for as an autonomous body and under that we have All India Radio and Doordarshan. Now what is this scheme about? So this scheme is about infrastructure and network development means to increase its horizon to broaden its, its horizon this scheme has been launched so that it's uh, the infrastructure of uh, of these connections of uh, by infrastructure it can be said more studios are established more networks more tower uh, can be established so that it can reach out these two platform can reach out to more and more people in the remote areas as well so this is the basic background of it and now let's come to the launch year so 2023 and we uh, the ministry it will fall under it will be ministry of information and broadcast Casting. What is the aim of the scheme? So the aim of the scheme bind is to provide financial support to whom? To Prasar Bharati. For what? For enhancing the scope of public broadcasting. Okay, so public bro broadcasting in India, it happens with the help of Prasar Bharati and to provide it, it with financial su support to incre increase its infrastructure, to increase its network, this scheme has been launched. So when we talk about 
providing financial support so we are providing for what we are providing for the expansion and upgradation of its broadcasting infrastructure whatever if you want to uh, have more uh, optical fibers if you want to establish more towers if you want to have more technology that is required right everything you have you want to have modern studios everything uh, for that financial support will be provided apart from that quality content development for domestic and international audience so what does it mean see indirectly it will also provide employment to the people who will be engaged in this development we will require labors we will require more creators right and we will be required more people so indirectly it will provide uh, the uh, the employment but we are talking about quality content because see through air that is all india radio akash akashwani and through doordarshan what we are doing we are actually these two are platforms to engage domestic and international audience right so to provide quality content to add more content uh, to or uh, add more shows to add such content which is likable by audience we can ultimately these are for the audience only right so to engage them so for that also financial support will will be provided to provide the quality content and for the civil work so here civil work it means construction of uh, buildings okay construction of buildings the the employees they live in buildings also so we are talking about those building also we are also talking about the um, the offices also right so all these civil kind of work these construction work that will be also been uh, funded under the scheme okay type of scheme so this scheme is a center sec central sector scheme so it means it is 100% funded by the central government next is total outlay what has been decided currently it is 2000 5039 uh, 0.61 crore that has been allocated for the year till 2025 to 26 i'll correct it in the pdf so what does it mean it has been launched in 2023 and for now it has been just for 3 years so it is uh, for uh, Uh, the total outlay is not three year that will be of two year two financial year we we can say right so that will be of two financial year and here we will say uh, the total outlay is two thousand five thousand three nine thirty nine point six one crore now what are the key features so the increase coverage of all india radio fm transmitter in the country okay so when we talk about air here we are not talking about doordarshan when we say increase coverage of these air because usually in villages also still they are dependent on radio for their uh, daily source of entertainment so we are saying that we will increase it, uh, the transmitters uh, in the country so that it can reach out to more people so we are categorizing in two ways that by geographical area we want to increase it to 66% which is earlier means currently 59% and we want to increase it from 59 to 66% and if we talk about this is by population wise okay this is by population wise if we say so population wise we want to increase it to 80% from earlier that is 68% why we are discussing earlier because in examination this comparison can be asked that the uh, the aim is the target or the aim is to increase uh, the air transmission by geographical area from 59 to 66% so you should have this idea that how much range difference is there so by geographical area it is to reach the target of 66% and by population if we say to reach the to reach 80% of the population purchase of ob vans and digital upgradation of d, d and air studios okay so these are what is ob van these are outside broadcasting so you must have seen uh vans that are there the vans are there and they have these antenna they have these dish antennas they have and they have proper studio inside the van only okay so that uh, wherever the new the new channels they can go anywhere and they can uh, uh, they can directly broadcast it right so that is why these purchase of more outside broadcasting vans will be there so that uh, to have more content as uh, as discussed earlier and also digital upgradation of dd and air dd is your doordarshan and ai studios will be done so that they can be hd the the quality of uh, the broadcasting that they do that can be uh, that can be of high definition okay ready will also be done as a part of this project bind and then free distribution of 8 lakh dd free dish uh, set top box that will be distributed in the 
पीपल टू द पीपल हु आर लिविंग लिविंग इन रिमोट ट्राइबल लेफ्ट विंग इफेक्टेड एंड बॉर्डर एरिया सो दीज रिमोट एरियाज और दी द वन विच आर लिव द एरियाज विच आर इफेक्टेड बाई नेक्सलाइट्स और बॉर्डर एरियाज फ्रॉम टू देअ एट लैक डी डी फ्रेश सेटो बॉक्स विल बी डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड सो दैट दे कैन ऑल्सो हैव अ रीच टू दीज टू प्लेटफॉर्म्स ना वाई इज इट रिक्वायर्ड बिकॉज सी गवर्नमेंट एस डिस्कस्ड अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम ड्यूरिंग दिस लेक्चर देर आर अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम दे वॉन्ट टू शेयर अवेयरनेस रिगार्डिंग समथिंग मे बी ऑफ द राइट्स ऑफ द सिटीजन मे बी ऑफ द न्यू स्कीम्स दैट हैव बिन लॉन्च एंड ऑल्सो टू क्रिएट अवेयरनेस फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई गिव यू दैट ऑफ जल जीवन मिशन और अंडर अमृत सो हेयर द एम इज और स्वच्छ भारत मिशन सो द एम ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट इज टू हैव जन आंदोलन टू अवेयर पीपल टू टू हैव द टू मेक दैम अवेयर एंड ऑल्सो टू डेवलप द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी for the nation right so all this can be achieved when they have a direct connection with the audience so they have some source so that is why it is very important to reach out to maximum people in the country and that is why in remote and tribal areas left wing affected and border areas free of cost this distribution of eight uh, dd set top box will be done so that they can have the uh, use of it so this was the scheme of 4th jan when this particular scheme cabinet committee on economic affairs they approved central sector broadcasting infrastructure and development scheme with an outlay of we have already studied for 25 26 okay so there was one point that at uh, present doordarshan operate 36 tv channels including 28 regional channels okay so this was a part of the particular news that we have covered although this was not this is not directly associated with the scheme so we did not do but currently doordarshan it operates 36 tv channels including 28 regional channels and all india radio operates more than 500 broadcasting center okay so this was the only different news rest apart we have covered in the particular scheme session so the homework for you all is who is the ceo of prasar bharti ओके सो दिस इज़ अ होमवर्क एंड नाउ लेट सी सी ओनली वन पर्सन हैज सेट द करेक्ट आंसर ऑल दो मैनी ऑफ यू अटेम्प्टेड एंड आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड एंड फॉर द वेरी रीजन ओनली आई फ्रेम द क्वेश्चन एज सच सी आंसर इज ऑल ऑफ दम आर इन करेक्ट ओके हाउ बिकॉज ओनली राहुल राज गिव द राइट आंसर बिकॉज सी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द स्कीम विल बी इंप्लीमेंटेड जॉइंटली बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एविएशन दैट इज रॉन्ग ओनली बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर वाई मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एविएशन हैज बिन एडेड सो दैट अ स्टूडेंट कैन गेट कन्फ्यूज दैट बिकॉज वी talking about drones so maybe it is a joint uh, venture but that is not so this statement is wrong second is the scheme will reduce the time in the field and the field capacity see yes definitely it is going to reduce the time in the field but it will not reduce the field capacity instead it will increase the field capacity the ultimate aim is to have efficiency right so that is why this also this statement becomes wrong and third one is also uh, most of you you said it correct but because the for fpos it was 75% of the cost and the this one is for the implementing agency the contingency uh, expenditure for the implementing agency right so that is why this also most said correct but second only one got this point say this what happens in examination you should be very aware of what you are reading read it properly if you look at it here you did not even lose one marks but you have also gained some negative marking right so this can be very very dangerous you should be very you know open to it so all of you for example all of you here you said d d d d right but and kamna also gave very beautiful explanation of why those are wrong but in the second statement now i i hope you will be able to uh, make it clear that why second statement was also wrong okay so all the best from the next time onwards for, uh, while answering so that is all in this particular session if you want me to cover any particular scheme you can uh, the suggestions are all, always welcome you can comment it down and uh, that is all in this video and uh, we'll meet again in the next one with new scheme with new objective until then all the very best for exam and thank you